Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome, everyone. My name is Ken Bodie, and like Lee Carter, I'm also running for the House of Delegates here this year in Virginia. And you know, two days ago, I turned 30. Two days ago, I turned 30, and I look at the country we have now. Use the mouth. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. So two days ago, I turned 30, and I look at the country that we have now, and this isn't a country that I want my kids to grow up in. This is not a, a, a country that we want to welcome immigrants into, or we want to raise our kids in, or we want to be able to say that this is the United States of America. But there's a lot of stuff going on right now, and there are a lot of people out here, like you, who are wanting to stand up and fight. So thank you for that. Right now, this year in Virginia, we get that first large-scale electoral answer to the Trump presidency and everything else we're seeing, all the ugliness, everything else. And there are people that will tell you out there that Virginia is a regressive state, it's a southern state, it was the seat of the Confederacy. And they will tell you that what we're seeing out now from this administration is where America truly is. But I don't think so. No! No! no. I will tell you that this very same state of Virginia, this very same country, not too long ago, had all these things that we're seeing now. But I will tell you this, this very same country, this very same country, not too long ago, elected the first black assemblyman into the General Assembly of Virginia. This very same state, Virginia, this very same country, not long after that, elected the first African-American governor in our nation's history. This very same state of Virginia, this very same country of the United States of America, not long after that, elected the first biracial president, not once, but twice. And by my count, and these aren't alternative facts, by the numbers, this very same state, this very same country of the United States of America voted who would have been the first female president in our nation's history. So I will leave you with this. When all those folks out there tell you that, hey, no, you should go home, you should go back to sleep. No, we won't go back to sleep. We won't slide down. We will not stand for that regression, that hate, that fear. I would say, tell, I would tell you this, turn that fear into determination. Turn that hate into love. Turn that despair into determination and turn that anger you have right now into action because America and Virginia stand for progress. So, in the vein of action, we shouldn't just all stay here. When we're so close to the White House, when we can tell the man in there right now what we stand for. So if you would appreciate it, I would appreciate it. If you would march with me now down Connecticut Avenue. It's only a couple minutes away. Only a couple minutes away. Let's march down to the White House and let him know where we stand. Thank you. Let's go.